You know, sometimes YouTube's default thumbnails can be a bit, well, rubbish. So here's how to use vidIQ's thumbnail editor to create something a little more eye-catching. So the first question is how can I create a thumbnail using vidIQ and the answer can be found in the video manager page of YouTube where you'll find a vidIQ tool button for each video. The last option is thumbnail editor. The first thing you want to do is choose an image for your thumbnail and you can either upload one or choose a frame from your video and you can do this by using the buttons on the right side of the screen to skip through your video frame by frame to get exactly what you want. Next comes text which you can add from the text tool on the right hand side. This will let you choose a font, colour, transparency and a border and you should try to make this as bright and as simple as possible to catch the viewer's eye. Once you have some text, you can add shapes to create backgrounds for your text and to make your thumbnails more appealing. There are four different shapes to choose from along with similar editing tools as you have for text. One thing to remember at this point is that every time you add new text or shapes, you are creating new layers, which sit on top of each other. So remember to use the layer buttons to bring things forwards and backwards. And those are the basics of the vidIQ thumbnail editor. And although people say you should never judge a book by its cover, YouTube viewers often judge videos by their thumbnails, so treat this vital piece of advertising as importantly as the video itself. Make it stand out and draw the viewer's eye to your content. But of course, text and shapes might not be enough, and you may want to import your own pictures such as channel branding. This is where you can use the image tab to import your own artwork as another layer to add to your thumbnail. Once you're happy with your thumbnail, the chances are you may want to use it again in the future and the final template allows you to do this. Clicking the next button will show you a preview of the image on different social media channels and clicking the save thumbnail button will apply the new image to your video thumbnail. And that's it, job done instantly. From there you can view the thumbnail on the video info page where you'll also find a create video thumbnail button should you ever want to do it from this screen instead. So we've given you the tools, it's up to you to create the masterpiece.